ADCAD is a fully integrated three-dimensional architectural application for ZWCAD. The powerful features and its parametric objects can be used with the usual interface of toolbars and drop-down menu. The clear and precise information of the options and parameters provides simple and immediate use. In this video we want to create a simple design example that shows the simplicity and productivity of ADCAD. Let's start therefore by drawing a layout with the wall command. In the dialog box we can choose wall type and thickness and the layer on which to put the entities. We leave the box indicating the type of alignment. As we can see in the command bar it's possible to indicate numerically the length of the wall. In the command bar we can also see all command options. You can draw curved walls or use the triangle technique to draw walls. With the close option we close the perimeter. Let's go back to the wall command and draw a room inside the perimeter. We change the thickness and with the select option we choose a wall to start from. We write the length of the side, for example 4 meters. We then continue with the wall command and draw all the rooms on the ground floor. The insertion of doors and windows is very simple. All openings are parametric. The library is very vast and you can define your own types of openings. We choose a front door and we can make it parametric by assigning the values we want and we insert it into the wall. With the same method we can insert a window. It is also possible to insert a parametric object without passing through the parameter dialog box. But, if necessary, you can go back to the parameter box at any time to check and change values. Let's proceed to also include the doors, selecting those desired from the library and specifying the side of the opening. Note that you can see two crosses one green on the wall and one red on the opening. The distance between the two crosses is requested. You can change both the reference point on the wall or on the opening. For example, you might like to select the midpoint of the opening. If we choose an isometric view, we note that ADCAD has already generated the 3D model of the objects. ADCAD treats them as a single entity. It's possible to view and print the model that we wish by activating or deactivating the representation. As for the wall in 3D, you can create it and update it at any time. In the options dialog box, we choose the floor height and then, with a simple click, we create the 3D model of the walls. The wall model consists of surfaces, so it is possible to remove hidden lines or display the shaded view. In a later video, once our project is complete, we will also show the full potential of realistic rendering of ADCAD. Notice how you can work on the project by changing all the elements at any time, and everything is updated accordingly. Let's modify, for example, the window width, the sill elevation and window height. Suppose we want to replace a window with another type of window. We choose the new one and select Replace. We are asked which openings of the drawing we want to replace. And finally, what parameters are to be inherited from the old objects and which we even want to change. In the dialog box, you can see both the new and old type of window. Once done, 
all the walls are updated in both a 3D model and 2D plan. Regarding the details of the openings in the layout, we can customize them at will. Create or not dimensions, the opening ID and encumbrance arches, etc. The openings can be drawn in different scales. It is also possible in the Dimensions dialog box to specify the positions and justify the dimensions text of the openings.